Right, this is Avraham Saltoun again. This is a second part of the tutorial how to set up a character. Uh, we have um, our characters already in parts. Each part has a corresponding layer. Each one of the parts, layer, each one of the layers is a sub layer of a skeleton layer, a bone layer. All of our parts already have uh, uh, bones. Now the bones, they have to have a relationship master secondary relationship meaning that uh, we are going to parent a bone to a major bone to inform studio that every time that the first bone moves the secondary is affected and not the whole uh, for that we're going to use a bone parenting tool and the select bone tool note when you press the parenting tool we have the relationships over here is random but we have to have a ordered body and for this we'll have to tell Pro which one is the parent, which, which one is secondary and let's start by the leg. Now the foot relates to its parent which is the leg which relates to the upper part of the leg and has to relate to the lower part of the torso so we select the bone, we ask for parenting and here we are same thing goes for the arm the hand connects to the upper part of the arm and the upper part of the arm connects to the upper part of the torso so we select the bone as for parenting and tell studio pro that's a parent same thing goes through the head we select the bone in the head and it will then ask to connect to the upper part of the torso slowly we are getting there and um, the thing, same thing goes for the arm the hand connects to the upper part of the arm and the arm is connected to the upper part of the torso and here we are, we are happy, everything is going accordingly now the foot connects to the leg, the leg to the upper part of the leg, and the upper part of the leg should connect to the lower part of the torso. And this is the correct figure. And just for the sake of, we aren't done yet, but for the sake of um, demonstration, we are going to show that manipulating the bones see what happens now we're going to ask for binding double click we'll, we will uh, uh, double clicking on the bone layer we have the last step for bone binding yes it could be flexible binding and region binding and, and this this means that uh, when region binding is binding is used bones only move the points that lie in their region or of influence if a point is overlapped by multiple regions it will be affected by all the corresponding bones if a point in no bones region of influence it will move with the nearest bone this is a different this is different from flexing binding where all the bones affect all points so we want region binding because we want to make our animation regional all right um, let's put our character back together and um, another important thing to know is that it will not move studio pro will not move the bone together with the shape unless we ask for the off bone offset bone tool it goes like this click at the top with the offset bone tool selected we click at the top of the bone and we move to the place where it belongs to same thing goes here we have two legs, one next to the other. Top bone again, arm, top bone again, and the head. Now we have a character.
character back together somewhat cute and if we manipulate bones we have harmony and that's the animation tutorial for today now if you want to see where we're standing at and the uh, results there is another tutorial a file called tutorial 4 with the um, tutorial 3.4 with the results of our animation which you'll see that are identical and they are in pure harmony thanks for watching us i hope you enjoyed this video i know this is one of the most complicated parts on animating a character but it's very useful because every time we see a vector based character on the net uh, we can always animate and and um, even create short stories with it if you have any questions don't hesitate in contacting me my email is at the end of this video and thank you very much for watching